Tire Boss systems allow the driver to actually deflate their tires from the cab of the vehicle while moving. This produces incredible results when you're off-road. In one example, the Tire Boss equipped truck hauled 23 loads of sugar beets while the non-equipped trucks hauled only 14. Uh, this was in very wet conditions. Think about what that can do for the productivity of your harvest operations when there are typically very tight timelines. The Tire Boss units are the ones with the hoses at the drive wheels. Uh, really hope you enjoy. Stuck right there. Now he's going to need a foot. There he lifted, no problem by himself. Figures going around the corner. See here he's got no problems at all. He was stuck last time there. The other truck was, it didn't have tire box. Here he's just crawling right through it, no problem at all. Getting up to him on the end. Still don't need the tractor, he didn't need him for any part of this haul at all. not having any issues. Some of the other trucks had problems right here on the approach, but no problem here. Just for a recap what happened here, I came into the yard with the Tire Boss truck. This truck was sitting here. There was another one over here waiting to get pulled out that was loaded. So while he pulled the truck out that was loaded, um, the Tire Boss truck came in, unloaded his dirt, pulled up to the digger, while these other two trucks are still sitting here waiting for a pull. And this is the Tire Boss truck over there with that digger going. And so, uh, whole operation stopped waiting for trucks except for the tire boss one with the lights on down there because he's still moving here we are now the tractors uh, managed to come and get this truck that's been waiting since before we got into the field and he's gonna pull them and uh, there's the tire boss truck he's probably got half a load on already and keep in mind he was the last truck into here now he's ahead of two other ones and this digger is still waiting here so pretty hard on productivity when the uh, trucks are waiting to get pulled. One tractor definitely can't keep up with them. Now. Okay, now he's got to split off because I guess he must have pulled up to the wrong digger. He's going to the other digger now to keep him moving. So he's continuing on while this truck has to be pulled. Still moving here. This truck made it on its own. This one's still getting pulled. And this one's sitting here from before we came in, even it was sitting here. I don't think he's unloaded his dirt yet. <laughs> These guys are spinning, they're all stuck. That's tire boss truck still moving. So right now, all these guys are hung up waiting for the tractor, semi plus a straight truck. This entire boss unit still moving.
Right now the tow tractor uh, is having some trouble, broken down or something. So one semi there, another one there. They were here before we got in the field. This digger is waiting and the tire boss unit is still moving. There's an empty semi there and down at the end of the field, you can't see it, there's another straight truck, three quarters loaded, that's stuck. The real test. He's coming around the corner at the end of the field. And he managed to do that. He's got his speed up, so he will get out of here. He will make it. No, he's the only one that made it out of the field right now. Since the uh, tire boss unit left loaded, there are, there's one empty semi stuck there on the left. There's another partially loaded one with the lights on down there by the digger and then he's stuck so the digger's not moving. And then right beside him, in front of him, is a loaded um, straight truck that's also stuck. So they've all been there, I don't know, for any 15 minutes. This one hasn't moved since we came back with the uh, tire boss unit empty. So he uh, is still waiting to get pulled empty. The, uh, the um, pull tractor is getting a welding job on the hitch, so all these semis are still standing here. So right now both diggers are not moving. Traction lifted from the sand still. Okay, we're down to 30 PSI now. Loaded 81,000 pounds. Going between some of the old tracks. 